Pottery people, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery, and today we will be painting this Spolvero stenciling platter. As always, here is our supply list. Feel free to pause this section and take notes, as we will begin shortly. Begin the project by placing the Spolvero stencil right in the middle of the platter. Use the pouncer and graphite powder to set the design. Use a pencil to set any other designs that do not show through. Use a black lab fun writer to outline the Spolvero design completely. Make your lines as visible as possible and don't be afraid to use heavy lines. Only outline the Spolvero design as the other accents will be added afterwards. Remember to work from the center of the design and work your way out. Skip areas that are too wet and work on drier sections. We will begin coloring our design shortly. Feel free to grab any fun writer of any color you'd like to use and make it your own, as you wish. Use the pea soup fun writer to color the smaller petals inside the larger central flowers and inside the acorns. With the coffee and cream fun writer, color the space under the acorns, the top of the acorns, and the halo around the design. With the Simply Cinnamon Fun Writer, color the small center daisy, the large center flower, inside the body of the acorn, the accents inside the larger petals, and around the outer large petals that have scallops. Use Leapfrog to color the leaves around the center flower and the sections around the large flower. To create the color leapfrog, just add pea soup and polar bear to a fun writer, more pea soup than polar bear, to soften up that green tone. With mochaccino, color the opposite leaves around the center flower and the opposite sections in the large flower. Use pumpkin pie to color in the remainder of the sections of the Spolvero design. Paint the rim using a round sponge and sweet pea. To create sweet pea, just add more polar bear to pea soup and it'll create a softer, lighter green. With a round brush and pumpkin pie, paint three teardrops around the points of the Spolvero design. Use a pencil to sketch the placement of the curly vines. With pea soup and a long liner brush, follow the vine and create its leaves. Begin by brushing the stem of the vine first and add the leaves by setting the brush down and swiftly brushing towards the stem. Using a clean long liner brush, paint another teardrop shape inside the pumpkin pie drops. And with the same technique practiced earlier, and Simply Cinnamon. While the rim dries, go ahead and add your accents to the center of the Spolvero design. Now 
let's add some accent dots all around the rim while we let the rim designs dry just a little bit longer. All right, now use the Black Lab Fun Writer to outline everything and to give accents to everything that's on the rim. Now to finish the piece, just use a round sponge and simply cinnamon to color the rim.